I got your wig and yes, you're still mad. I got your wig and ha 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 ha. I got your wig and ha 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 ha. You're so upset and I could care less. Get out of my face. I got your wig and yes, you're still mad. Ooh, you're mad, bitch. I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm this gonna last say year. this. I think you were reckless. Because you said I had a drinking problem Ooh. that I don't eat. What was going on with you there? I was off. You were, you were? 100% I was off. But it was like an aggressive off. Something no. was going okay, on. Okay, yeah, with you me. may have to move to London and get extra money every month. Listen. If you're not even gonna be sympathetic to me, and I'm telling you what was going on with me in my life. I told her. I said I didn't know if this was your first drink or your fifth, or it was your medicine for your. your foot. I take gabapentin at night when I go to bed. You're gonna tell everybody I don't eat. But you don't. Yes, I do. I've seen you push around a plate and say that you have some disorder where you, you choke and can't eat your food. See, now you're going to make fun of really something that is wrong with me. I really am. Okay, You've guys, already lost really two sisters. Do you want to lose a third? You said I pushed my food around and I didn't well, eat. Well, that's that. I will say that again. But do you know what that did to me? What did I ever do to you to warrant you doing what you did to me at the wee dinner at my party? You have a lot of nerve to That's say not a that, seedling, uh, that, that you've was... done anything wrong. And not a seedling? Nope. You acted like I did something wrong to you instead of saying, are you okay? Do you need a friend? Like, you talk about, you don't know who I am. I, it's like, okay, what is, who is this now? You're just very different. But mine's a physical thing. Well, and the not drinking, like, there's, it's just different. She's gotten very thin. Mm-hmm. We were in Las Vegas, we're on vacation. Mm -hmm, right. And she's going to the gym for like three hours. I did notice the sapphire and diamond ring that she's wearing now. That, that's not her usual ring? I don't pay. No, it's brand new. What makes you so entitled to think that you are owed an explanation of everything that's going on in my I bedroom? I look. When things are brought out into the open and put out, they have to be dressed in this way. They do it's not. Lisa from Wisconsin said, why do you all say, I don't care what Denise and Brandy do in private? And then you're talking about it constantly and then covering your faces and acting shocked. People thought you were being bi, anti-bisexual. I saw a lot of that. And actually, it has nothing to do with that. It was, you know, if you hear someone has, you know, a married woman has an affair and you're on a reality show, it's gonna come up, especially, it's been said on camera. If it was never told us on camera, it would not have come up, honestly, but it's an affair, regardless if it's a man or a woman, and you're on a reality show. And over these 10 years, there have been so many situations that have come up with you know, myself and the cast members that have been rumors about us, and it comes up, and we have to deal with it. You know, I really honestly wish that, Brand that, that Denise had just said to us that night, you know what? Believe what you want. I know the truth. Now let's talk about how I feel about our relationship with the women. We all share what's going on in our lives. Oh, all no, that's us. not true. Every one of us. That is true. That is true. What do you mean no. by that? What do you mean it's by not that? true. Let, let me tell you something. I have been on the show for 13 years. I've watched my two-year-old birthday party to that child is now going to be applying to colleges next year. My children learning how to drive a car, going off to college, coming home from college, getting engaged, rumors about my marriage. I've had two siblings on the show. My family has fallen apart. Don't talk to me about not sharing what's going on in my life. You want me to spill everything that's happened in my I marriage to because spill you anything. feel that I we owe had that questions. to you. You have tattoos. You're working out. So You're, what? You've made what a you lot care? of life. You've I made a lifestyle change to hurt anybody in this group. You have you got, got to season? understand this at some Just point. Just to come how? after me. How? What? I did what? what? I did yeah, what? Yeah, you came into this season just to come after me. Have you lost your mind? Well, I'm sorry. Maybe just buying a horse and your cashmere lined and, you know, isn't enough. So you want to talk about me instead? I don't you know what to tell you. You want to pick on my horse now? You can, y'all can make fun of my ass. Oh, we're not allowed to talk about the horse either. Do you think she has a drinking problem? Do I think either one of us was insinuating she has a drinking yes. problem? Do you think she I has? I don't a... know. Okay. Whenever someone repeats the question, they're stalling. And I'm not going to defend myself anymore because I think we can all say that I do not and it's ridiculous. I don't think you have then say it loudly. Say, say uh, it more hold on a clearly. Second. I'm just, I've just. Say it again. Sutton, 
What did you just say? I don't have any evidence. I'm not with you all the time. Right. I don't know. You I only just said, see... I don't think you have a drinking problem. I'm not just sitting here saying it. If I'm your I don't friend. think you have a drinking Thank problem. You. I don't. Then I don't, I don't you, know. I don't know. Well, I don't know I don't what, have, if you have a drinking problem either. Carcass out. Grey Goose Club Soda. Okay. In a short glass. A Grey Goose with Club Soda in a short glass with three lemons. A Belvedere with three lemons, please. Squeeze them in really well. Carcass out. You learned at the start of the season that you were recovering from yet another horrific robbery. There were a lot of questions about the details. Lainey from Pennsylvania said, I read Dorit said the 10K in cash was for Christmas bonuses for her staff, but I don't understand why she brought it into the store and left it in a shopping cart. When I was driving home to do the Christmas bonuses, I thought, I don't know if I have enough. Oh, I remember seeing the box cards. I'm going to stop quickly and pick up the box cards. I went to Marshall's, which is a fan. Wow. Dorit oh, goes to Marshall's. I love Marshall's oh, and Home Goods. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. And when I got to the register, I couldn't find my bag. We had a really difficult year. He was spending a lot of time in London. He had a lot of business there. And it was a year that I needed him the most. He didn't feel protected. Well, I also didn't feel supported right. enough, and I yeah. didn't feel as connected. I've always been the girl that soldiers on. That's who I am. That's who PK knows. Right. I definitely underestimated how big of a setback this last incident had on Was. me. We've been robbed three times, right? The first time, he's been caught. He's been sent to jail for 25 years. Done. Second time they haven't done it, the home invaders. But when Dorit had her, I don't even know if you know this, when Dorit had her money stolen at Marshall's when they took the handbag, they caught him as well. And now they, they caught him. And now the probation, yeah, the probation but officer rang me. Well, whoever they caught and said, do you want restitution and all how this? Come, how come no one said anything well, to me? Well, you know what? I don't particularly want to talk about traumatic things. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's Sweetheart, like... Sweetheart, I would love to know yeah, that they, they, caught they did. Him. They caught that that gang. There was three guys. I know two I, of them I, had I don't priors, know, but all I know is they called But him. they have one? Yeah. They have one. Yeah. So who, who did you speak to? The detective? I spoke to the detective and then I spoke the probation officer called me because there's a thing in America called restitution, which basically means you have to pay he's, back. he has to pay it back, but he can't pay it back, so he pays back at £25 PK, a month for honey, why am I not involved? He's paying it back in pounds? I think, no, he's not paying back in pounds. <laughs> anyway, it, it, it doesn't... No, sweetheart, honey, what, I only just, took the call yesterday from the probation officer. I just love that I'm learning about this now. When they actually looked back at the footage, there were three men had followed and targeted me. Fans weren't the only ones questioning the details of your robberies. Garcelle had some questions oh. of her own, particularly <laughs> about your jewelry. Uh, Paul Stan One said that was a nasty comment from Garcelle to imply Dorit's robbery was fake. Well, listen, seven years I've been on the show. Yes. I've heard a lot and yes. I'm no stranger to it, but that was shocking and it really, it really cut deep. And I've been debating whether or not I text her and say, is this really like how you feel? Because mm -hmm. right. that was shocking to me. You know, okay. is there any part of you, is there anything you want to say to me? What did hurt me, I heard Garcelle, who's a friend of mine in her confessional, say, um, make a passing comment about, you know, the only jewelry I've ever noticed was the jewelry that Dorit was wearing after she was robbed intimating, insinuating that there was in any way... No, it's fueling, not it's exactly fueling the rumor. What said. It's fueling the rumor. It, it certainly is, because, again, I, I really have not seen a large number or really any, you know, comments about it not being real. I've had a very, very different experience. I've had thousands of people reach out to me, you know, that, and those kinds of things, it's almost shocking. Like, wait a minute, this is like, you know, here within... We have the reunion coming up, you know, I'll understand exactly what she meant by that and what she doesn't believe because it sounded almost like she, you know... Well, it's the, it's the nature of the show. The children and I had just flown in from London yes, 24 hours prior. Yeah. The things that I had travelled with, including my rings, were not in the place that they are normally. normally. Are. Got it. So, what other details? Well, I thought it was strange that a robber would be so kind to listen to you and leave your phone by the gate. She was amazing, and the reality is if you track back to that period, you know, I read about, oh, as if this would happen, as if, as if this would happen. It all happened. That's what happened. Do you understand? So when, when they talk about, well, why would the burglar or the home invader leave the phone 
on the floor. This is why he did, because Dorit pleaded, showed them where everything was and said she can't phone anyone, she doesn't have a phone, and obviously something triggered with that robber, or whatever you want to call him, that he did actually leave the phone on the floor. That's what he did. And that's how she you managed know, to call me. And then they go, as if that, as if that. But that's what happened. I had a gun to my head, and the guy was saying okay. to kill her. Let Let's, me finish, please. No, I Allow know the story. No, I know no, 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 the story. Allow me to finish so I can tell you why they, the robber would be so kind. Yeah. I had no way of contacting my husband, and I said, please, I just want to be able to call my husband. Please leave my phone. And he left it at the gate. What is so Because I don't think that would, Because that wouldn't happen so... I mean, that's it rare. Happen. Am I wrong? Is, is it, that's that's not, not rare? Not, possible, but, though. not only that... I'm not saying it's not... Though. I didn't say it's not impossible. Also, phones, also where that could be. It's just not that crazy. Okay. But what is crazy is to actually go on national television and to peddle a what false narrative. What national television? What do you mean? Oh, on you our show. You and your confessional. Oh, I have my opinions, and the fact that I'm sharing them is just... That's my opinion. It doesn't change your world in any way. Of course it does. That is a very, very, very big, strong thing to say. And you looking away like it's nothing... No, I hear you. a lot about you, Garcelle. You, you really couldn't care less. I'm sorry if I hurt you with that. That was just my opinion. I have been in meetings at your house with the LAPD. So this is not even a question. Exactly. Obviously it happened. You would never stage it. You'd never lie about it. That would be an unimaginable crime. And it also is just insulting to your integrity as human beings. Well, it's interesting because there was a theory among viewers, and I think by some of you in the group, that you did not want to show empathy towards Tom's alleged victims because it would somehow make you seem guilty or complicit. I'm trying to talk to you. No, you're not trying to talk to me. You're trying to accuse me of lying, and I'm not a liar. Do you know something about my life that I don't? If you do, speak up. I'm very interested to know. Look at me. I'll go head on with you all f***ing day. I'm telling the truth. You ever call me a liar again? I'm coming for you. It's about trying to make people whole, that's all. There is a place to make people whole, and it is in a court of law, not in the court of public opinion. Do you believe that just because somebody says so? That's no what... one said so. That's how I feel. No. No one's telling me to care about victims. I care. Yeah, but you're not Let's caring. get real. Yeah, you're let's I... get real. You're not caring without facts, though. My thing is, you can still show compassion. You can still show compassion. Whether you think your ex-husband did it or not, you can say, you know what? What he did is messed up. But I can feel for these people. Garcelle, he won the court cases. But they didn't get it. But they didn't get the money. Right. So they're victims. They were already victims. Right. True. Good he point. won the court case. He did his right, job. Right, right. Good point. Good point. It's so simple. There you go. I know she has empathy. Like, she shows it to me. She texts me when people are going after me. They're like, she'll text me the nicest stuff, like... She has shown me such empathy. We're not talking about innocence, guilt. We're not talking about any of that. You know that there's people that were not paid. Right now she feels like she's in the fight of her life and she doesn't like to feel like these women, you know, that she, you know, that she spends all this time with are not backing her. But it's, it's just hard sometimes, you know. It's very hard because it's all very confusing and as much as we want to, there are just certain things you're like, this just doesn't make any sense. Here's what I don't like. I'm tired of two years of trying to explain things to people and them not wanting to hear, not wanting to listen, and continuously pressing and asking questions. And you're continuously pressing me about things that, A, number one, you know I cannot answer. So the decision to leave was, in my opinion, why would I be here? I don't feel welcome here. When Erica left, I knew she was upset, especially with me because we're friends. I think she expected more from me and not for me to challenge her. Up first, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Erica Jane might have to surrender $750,000 worth of diamonds. A bankruptcy trustee is not playing around about her diamond earrings, claiming Erica's estranged husband 
bought them with stolen client money. According to court docs, Tom Girardi bought the very expensive diamond earrings back in 2007 from M&M's jewelers using a money that was a, in a client trust account Ooh. at his old law firm, Girardi and Keys. The trustee in Girardi and Keys bankruptcy case alleges Tom hid the transaction by describing the purpose of the check on G and Key's trust account as a cost item paid to M&M. The trustee is now mandating that Erica surrender the diamond earrings to the bankruptcy estate. The judge hasn't made an official ruling yet, but Erica may have to give up the diamonds if the bankruptcy trustee wins the case. So ladies, what are your thoughts? If I knew this information and I had those diamonds, I would not want those diamonds. My, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night knowing I have diamonds that were paid for with money that was robbed from innocent families. And I would be like, I would want to turn those in. I, I don't want those earrings. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anything else to say. What That just seems did, like the right thing to do. You know, allegedly to those victims, it's horrible. just it's horrible. Just horrible, and I would, I mean, I would just get rid of everything that yeah. all the gifts that he gave me. I mean, I know that that may seem extreme, but there are people that are still suffering to this day yes. because they didn't <clears throat> receive the funds, you know, that they should have uh, received. So I don't even see why this is a question. For the loss of their family members. You can always yeah, buy other diamonds. I think I don't know everything, but I feel like... If I was in Erica's shoes, I would do the same thing. Yeah. I would give up the diamonds give up. quickly. I believe she's giving them to a third party until it's decided if she does have to give them back. But I agree with you. There's so much more that she could do just to... It, even if she's not guilty of knowing everything that Tom was doing, yes. but this is a way of saying, I have compassion for you. Right. And therefore, take the jewel. Take, take, take it. Take it. I don't even Take want the it. necklace. I mean, That's when she I mean. shows up for work, yeah. she is diamond out. Yeah, I'd be like, you know? I so want she's no got parts. a lot. So getting rid of those diamond earrings is not going to hurt her. Yeah, she got a lot. So why are you, you know, yeah. I don't Man, know. Man, I would be like, it ain't even about what I have or what I said. If that was the last pair of diamonds I had, I'd still want to turn them over. Right. You know, like, why is this even a discussion? If somebody ever brought this to my attention and said, hey, this may have been, even if it was a, I'd be like, take them. Here, take it, because I don't even want. Take them. I would not want to be associated with any of that. I wouldn't want to be associated with the idea of that. I wouldn't want people to even think that these grand things that I own right. came from, from that situation. Like that right. just, I would be like, And you wouldn't no get questions. the joy out of wearing them. No. You remember when we went to Garcelle's birthday party? Yeah. And she came over to me and you? Yeah. And was trying to talk to us, and we were like this. <laughs> I mean, I was, tr I was trying to hear her out, because you always want to hear someone out. Yeah. But I just felt like, you know. You didn't want to hear anything, so yeah, you wouldn't no, be I was just like, first of all, I'm on camera, you know? <laughs> and you like, you know, you coming yeah. over here. And she was like, you know the people that believe me the most? They did. She did. And I was like. She actually pointed at her own skin and said, they are not Yeah. This. Yeah, that's what she said. She and was, I was like, like, those I... are the people that are against me, and the ones that are riding with me are How the people that? that look and like And I was us. like, oh, here we go. But she did, she did make a few good points, and what she was saying at that time was that she really had no idea. But my thing is, now that you do have an idea, Give you need to rectify tools. the situation. Yeah. So let's talk about the earrings. Why are you so intent on keeping them? Is it for financial reasons? I do not have them. You don't have them. At 1984 is now tweeted, I would fight for the earrings too. Erica put in the work of being married to Tom. She deserves her baubles. Ladies, how many of you would keep the earrings? I wouldn't. I would not. You would not, Dorit? No. 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 I wouldn't want anything to do with it. When you're going through legal process like this, they ask you not to comment on anything either way. So it's almost like you got to shut up. When you're pushed so many times and you can't respond in the way that others think you should, that have not been in this situation, you look like you don't have empathy. But I know that you met with a group of people. I am at sort of a loss for what to say because we um, have had such a 
been standing on the opposite sides of a lot of things. So I don't know if there's anything that you'd like to say or ask or... Well, I, I don't know who, if, who you know of, of uh, the victims, if you know our names. Um, do, do, do you know anything about us? Not really, to be perfectly honest. Did you see the documentary? Yeah. The Housewife and the Hustler? I did. I watched it was a couple of years ago. So explain to me or remind me. I know it feels weird with all the mics and lights, but I mean, we've all had a lot of questions for a long time. And nobody was really interested in my side of the story. They were interested in blaming me. She's been given a lot in life as far as a platform. She can make the victim's life a living hell still, or she could add a little light. Under advice of counsel is why I went. And I spoke with these women, and I thought it was important that they saw me as a person and not through the lens of a reality TV show. Okay. Can you better explain to me why you sat down with the victims? I cannot. I cannot. Why not? I cannot. Did you learn things from them? That yes, you I did. One of them being that one of my paychecks was in a client trust fund. This morning, Real Housewife of Beverly Hills, Erica Jane, maintaining her innocence. If he stole the money, I'd like to know where it is. The lawsuit against her in Illinois dismissed. The reality star appearing to claim victory on Instagram, thanking her supporters, writing, thank you to my friends that know me. It's a marathon. She had been named in a lawsuit with her now ex-husband, disgraced legal titan Tom Girardi, who was accused of embezzling millions of dollars from victims in the 2018 Lion Air plane crash. Her legal troubles and divorce playing out on TV. The strongest substance on earth isn't diamonds, it's me. But when questioned, Erica saying she did nothing wrong and was in the dark when it came to their finances. I did nothing wrong but I'm not gonna answer that question. Even agreeing that the victims deserve the money. I'm in an almost impossible situation. And anyone that has been wronged, I want them to be made whole. Her lawyer saying in a statement, the truth is that Erica had no role in the Lion Air dealings, actions or inaction as between the attorneys and their clients. And she never received any of the Lion Air client settlement funds. While the lawsuit has been dismissed from court in Illinois, she is not out of the woods. The plaintiff has not only vowed to um, recharge and, and refile in California, but they've said that based on her statements and her public stance, that they intend now to be able to prove that she not only knew and knowingly benefited, but that she was part of it all along. Chicago firm Edelson PC, who is representing some of the plane crash victims, will refile in California, telling ABC News, Erica and her team have put out a false story that we abandoned our case against her and EJ Global. Adding, Erica is quite shockingly turning into a modern day version of Marie Antoinette before our eyes. She should take accountability for her actions and return the money to the lying air victims. If not, we are sure we will get justice through the court system. Erica is filming the next season of Real Housewives right now. While she's no longer a housewife by marriage, the big cliffhanger now is if she will still be a defendant. She is still facing other lawsuits in court. So it was yeah. opposite of what people are accusing. No, no. Of. It's, I think here's the thing. Trial's about to happen. Um, so I guess we'll have answers there. Who knows? And Tom has been diagnosed with dementia, but he has been ruled competent to stand trial. Um, I don't know how that works. I don't understand that either. I think that there's one thing to be competent under the law. Can you aid in your own defense and then your medical diagnosis? Like, how far along are you into it? I'm, I'm not sure. But I just feel, you know, my dad had Alzheimer's. I know that. As you know, I work with the Alzheimer's Association, the standard length of survival from diagnosis to end is nine years. So at this rate, it would he would be very progressed. So for Tom to be able to stand trial right now 
seems strange to me. Everybody just wants to know if she had any uh, any insight of what was going on. Why don't you on. drop the camera? Okay? Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, he's, he wants to answer the question. No, he doesn't. I think she does. Let's, let's go. Thank you, Tom. Three times, right? The first time he's been caught, he's been sent to jail for 25 years. Done. Second time they haven't done it, the home invaders. But when Dorit had her, I don't even know if you know this, when Dorit had her money stolen at Marshall's when they took the handbag, they caught him as well. And now they, they caught him. And now the probation, yeah, the probation officer three. rang me. Well, whoever they caught and said, do you want restitution and all how this? Come, how come no one said anything well, to me? Well, you know what? I don't particularly want to talk about traumatic things. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's Sweetheart, like... Sweetheart, I would love to know yeah, that they, they, caught they did. Him. They caught that... That gang. There was three guys. I know two I, of them I, I had I don't priors, know, but all I know is they called. But him. they have one. Yeah. They have one. Yeah. So who who did you speak to? The detective? I spoke to the detective, and then I spoke. The probation officer called me because there's a thing in America called restitution, which basically means you have to pay he's, back. he has to pay it back, but he can't pay it back, so he pays back at twenty five pound a month. Forever. Honey, why am I not involved? He's paying it back in pounds. I think no, he's not paying back in pounds. <laughs> anyway, it 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 doesn't. No, sweetheart, honey, what, I only just... took the call yesterday from the probation officer. I just love that I'm learning about this now. Somebody is lying, somebody is lying, somebody is lying, somebody. I know y'all are tired of me singing, but somebody is lying in this bitch, okay? And I'm not trying to play Doree and PK, and I'm trying to have some sensitivity towards the topic of them getting robbed, as I know it's a serious matter, and she apparently or allegedly had a gun to her head. But again, these stories do not add up to me because in that flashback clip that you saw, PK said that the robbers were caught, but you didn't tell your wife. And that was the first time she was hearing it. And you can tell that she was gagged unless she was acting. And you're claiming that you didn't want to tell her because you didn't want to traumatize her. Bitch, she's already been traumatized enough. She's been robbed three times. I think she's been traumatized enough. I feel like letting her know that the robbers were caught or one of them or how many ever one of them were caught would help her anxiety to know that they were caught in, in jail or going to be in jail. So, I mean, something, again, is not adding up to me. I'm not sure if PK is setting Miss Dorit up to get robbed and hit upside her head so he can get some funds, insurance funds. I don't want to put that out there. I'm just, well, it's already out there. So I'm not putting shit out there. I'm just reporting the news and what I'm seeing with my eyes and trying to conclude with what is not making sense, okay? Children and I had just flown in from London yes, 24 hours prior. Yeah. The things that I had traveled with, including my rings, were not in the place that they are normally. normally. Are. Got it. So, what other details? Ooh, Dorit has had enough of y'all calling her a liar. But to be honest, if the shoe fits, I mean, I'm not trying to call you a liar and you don't have anything to prove to me. Obviously, just to the insurance claims people as y'all are trying to get the funds from... Um, okay, I'm just... <laughs> Allegedly, because I don't need them doing nothing over here, okay? Stay away from my page. Okay, but I mean, Dorit was... Or not Dorit, hold on. Garcelle was throwing shady comments around about Miss Dorit's robbery. So I do see why Dorit was or is upset with Miss Garcelle. Because if I was really robbed, I would be upset with anybody questioning me. But again... I guess my opinion doesn't matter, but I think myself that this situation is a little flim flam. Like something ain't right. I'm not sure if you're in on it, Mr. Reed, or not, but I definitely think PK is in on it. I don't mean to be a conspiracy theorist, but something again is not right. I had a gun to my head and the guy was saying okay. to kill her. Let Let's... me finish, please. No, I Allow know the story. Like Garcelle, I've had enough of hearing about this robbery. I mean, technically Garcelle does need to hear it as she was making shady comments about the robbery and had questions. And I mean, so do I, but I feel like Dorit's not really answering them truthfully. Or maybe she don't know the truth. Like I said, maybe PK is in on whatever has happened to her and she doesn't know. Or maybe she is in on it. I don't know. And I don't want to assume something so dark about Miss Dorit. But again, this story is not convincing me. And I know it's not to convince me, but I'm not convinced as a viewer and a fan. Ew, uh, like JK, but like maybe not. But thank you for watching. But you hating ass bitches always have something to say.
boring ass bitch, but you're still watching my vids. What? 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 <laughs> you're so upset. But that's like okay because have a piece of bread, have a Xanax, relax because I said what I said.